Dear bloggers, if you are running any WordPress website and you are having this kind of JPJ or PNG image in your website hosted, but you want to deliver this kind of WebP format when you are using the Cloudflare CDN for speed enhancement of your website, how you can do it? Because by default, in the free plan, Cloudflare does not allow you to do that automatically. So in this video, I will show you how I have done in my WordPress website with Cloudflare free plan and free plugins. So first of all, my website is hosted in a shared hosting platform and as well as I am using Cloudflare free CDN plan. To do this, you have to use one plugin that is EWW image optimizer. This will not only convert your image to WebP, but also it will help you to serve WebP images to the visitors of your website. So first of all, what this plugin will do? So first of all, go to the I, I will give my blog link in the description where I have given all that in detail blog I have shared how you can do it. So first of all you have to go to the plugin and add new plugin then it will install. Then from the setting panel go to EWW image optimizer. Then what you have to do you have to go to the here one advanced mode is there you have to click it and then this page will open. So we have to click this free mode for now by default it will be in a free mode. Then you have to enable the remove metadata and if you want to resize your images you can give the width only width give and height will be zero so automatically it will keep the accept ratio of your image intact. So in first then you have to click that lazy loading enabled and in the bottom you have to click on WebP conversion enabled. Then WebP delivery method there is two method with JS rewriting or JavaScript rewriting and picture tag of the HTML by picture WebP rewriting. And then in the bottom you have to click first WebP option tick and then save. Now question is coming why Cloudflare does not allow us to do it and why it is little bit tricky to apply WebP images if you are using Cloudflare CDN. But if you are not using Cloudflare CDN you can easily you know deliver the WebP images by the Nginx re rule rewriting or Apache HT access file rewriting rule you can do it. There is another plan in the Cloudflare polish so it will automatically convert your JS images to WebP images but it is a paid Cloudflare account needed. So we are not going to pay anything to Cloudflare or we are not gonna pay anything to any CDN or any plugin. So it is a free plugin. So there is two method one it what it will do in this WebP JS method in the documentation already given so basically it will inject a javascript in the header this header will first of all check that your browser is compatible with javascript and webp rendering then it will render the webp links otherwise it will render the normal jpg or png links that is the main simple funda of this javascript method and if your browser is disabled for javascript then you can use this picture webp method which will attach the picture tag of two links one is webp another one is the normal jpg or png then browser will select on basis of that support model which it will be supported and it will be selected so there is two method but javascript is a better option and you have to click that lazy load always to use the javascript because first it will check all the things compatibility then it will start loading your images so lazy loading also will be enabled if you are using this plugin this will basically convert future images or next images you upload it automatically convert to fp and reduce the size everything it will do from next upload if you are in the media folder means wp include folder wp contained images that folder or include originals this will also convert a wp version of the original images like what you have uploaded that actual images will be there and because i have already disabled this kind of 
thumbnail or resizing so it i have only two image two copies of every image one is the original uploaded and another one is the webp version so this will go for the future upload but how we can existing files or images what is there already in the server before installing this plugin how you can convert them to app so go to the media go to the bulk optimize and then you have to click on scan for an optimize file and then it will start scanning and click on the convert button so i am not going to do it because i have already done and all the images are already optimized so if you go to the tools and e triple w image optimizer here you can see all the so optimized images here you can see already been optimized and here you can see reduced by 12 percent 13 percent the size amount of size it is reduced everything is showing up there so it's a very good plugin and now let me show you is it actually work or not before going to that uh, you no know, demo part let me say two things first of all does it work with any cache plugins like i am using lightspeed cache plugin or whatever there is multiple cache plugin is there does it work with that yes of course it will work because it is just javascript inline javascript next question is coming that well we are serving the web images but does it actually cache them in the cloudflare edge server so directly from our servers it will be served let's check so in a link here you can see there is two images already there and it is saying it is webp so let as i said it is a lazy load enable so let me just scroll down you can see in the right side as soon as i'm scrolling the right side images are loading and here it is the size you can see the type is webp and if i show you in details here you can see in the cloudflare cache status cf cache status it is saying hit that's mean that image being served by the cloudflare server not your original origin server that's mean it has been cached and another thing is that here you can see the path dot webp see the full path dot jpg dot webp it is not jpg file this is webp file being served so that's mean we are able to set up the webp version with the free cloud for city and it is being cached with the cache plugin of wordpress thanks a lot for watching this video if you are facing any problem do let me know in the comment section and also check out my blog links where i have written all the things step by step so you can check and if anything need to copy any content you can select and copy those text from my website so that's all in this video hope to see you soon in my video till then goodbye take care